News every 15 minutes, weather every 10, and sports twice an hour. News Talk KGVO, AM 1290 and 98.3 FM. You're listening to Montana Morning with Peter Christian. Missoula Mayor John Engen promises tax increases every year as long as he's mayor. Good morning, everyone. This is Montana Morning. It's Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. Sky's cloudy. It's 25 degrees. Uh, roads around the area mostly barren dry, but you have some barren wet conditions on uh, from Missoula south to Stevensville on Highway 93. Snowpack east from Clearwater Junction to Rogers Pass. Also snowpack on Lost Trail Pass up to Hamilton. And our newscast this morning is sponsored by Selway Armory on Stockyard Road with more guns and ammo than anyone in Missoula. The best prices in Montana, Montana's premier firearms dealer. In a wide-ranging interview with KGVO's What Do You Know radio program this past week, Missoula Mayor John Engen revealed that there will be another tax increase this year, and if he's re-elected, more in the years to come. So as as long as I am mayor, I can almost guarantee you that there will be an annual tax increase. Engen said the increases are driven by municipal employees' pay. We have contracts with our employees that um, that commit us to paying them more year over year. So... Any given year, uh, we're going to need, give or take, a million more bucks to pay people. And that's that's a function of, of our labor contract. Most of what we pay for at the city of Missoula is labor. Engen also was asked to comment on recent coverage by NBC Montana, which raised concerns about the use of credit cards for the city to purchase ribeye steaks, earbuds, and sandals, among numerous other items. Engen inferred the story was profit-driven. You'll find that cities buy a lot of stuff that seems pretty funky, and if you don't put any of it in context, um, you're, you're going to scratch your head a little bit. This is pure speculation on my part. That story looks like a beautiful boilerplate consultant story idea for Sweeps Week. Engen says the credit card analysis hasn't highlighted anything concerting quite yet. There are human beings in this organization, and sometimes they're doing the wrong thing. In this case, there, there is nothing that has risen to the level of, of giving me concern. The mayor did not specify what percentage of tax increase the city of Missoula might enact in recent years. Tax proposals usually range between 3 and 5%. Though the city council signed off on Monday on $140 million in bonds to purchase the Mountain Water Company, there's still some uncertainty about who will be showing up for work when the city gains control. The attorney representing many of the Mountain Water Company employees says things are not settled on how employees will be handled under the new ownership plan. Here's attorney Gary Zadig. Things like coming aboard at your current wages, not suffering a reduction in wages. Health benefits, for instance, if there's a waiting period to qualify for the city health plan, cover the COBRA premium on their old policy so no one has a gap in coverage. It goes without health insurance and the turnover. Adjusting years of service credit and things for retirement so that people don't start over. Zedek said the past three years have been difficult for employees and praised City Councilor Julie Armstrong for trying to at least mend fences with her formal apology to Mountain Water employees Monday night. At times I'm sure they felt like a stepchild or simply they had no control. You know, a lot of uncertainty they've suffered through. I understand one of the council members made some comments toward the employees last night to maybe try to heal things, and that, that was nice. There have been times when the employees feel like, what's going to happen to us? You know, these are our jobs, our careers, our livelihood for our family. So it's been, been very stressful. Zadig said, although it may seem like, quote, the train has left the station, end quote, he's hoping the Mountain Water Company employees' issues can be resolved with the city within the next city, pardon me, 60 days. The Montana Supreme Court has overturned a Great Falls woman's conviction for assaulting her infant daughter, saying her confession was involuntary because she believed she was providing information to help doctors treat her dying daughter. Jasmine Eskew was acquitted of deliberate homicide in her daughter's September 2012 death, but she was convicted of assault on a minor. She was sentenced to five years under the supervision of the Department of Corrections. Chief Justice Mike McGrath wrote to Tuesday's 5-2 to opinion that said a district court judge was wrong to deny a pretrial motion to suppress Eskew's confession. Many Missoula first responders were awestruck yesterday after a head-on collision between a semi-truck and a small passenger vehicle ended up with no one going to the hospital. Well, police public information officer Travis Welsh described the crash, which occurred at about 5.30 a.m., which closed Reserve Street for several hours. A small passenger car traveling northbound in the slower lane moved to the outside faster lane and at some point lost traction and started to drift and actually drifted into the southbound lane where it was struck by 
a southbound semi uh, in what was described as a head-on collision. We did have a, a leak of diesel fuel, about 100 gallons. There were no passengers in either vehicle, and uh, neither of the male drivers needed to go to the hospital. Well said the fact that the passenger vehicle driver walked away with minor injuries was, quote, amazing, end quote. Very surprising, very fortunate. What's even more surprising is the relative size and mass of the vehicles involved uh, that resulted in, you know, otherwise bumps and bruises. So very fortunate, very amazing that we didn't have more serious injuries there. The road was reopened a little after 8 o'clock yesterday morning. A 52-year-old former president of a failed restaurant group has pleaded guilty to federal bank fraud charges. The Great Falls Tribune reports Ken Hatzenbeller pleaded guilty before U.S. District Judge Brian Morris in Great Falls yesterday. Prosecutors accused him of lying to a Utah bank about how he intended to spend the half-a-million-dollar loan granted to him in September of 2014. His sentencing is set for May 18th, where he could potentially be sentenced to 30 years in prison and a fine of a million dollars. Hatson Beller has been granted supervised release until his sentencing hearing. State agencies from the university system to the highway department are asking the legislature for funds from a budget that's significantly smaller than in years past. One such agency is Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks, facing a very big problem with the outbreak of invasive mussels in some state waterways. Spokesman Ross Himes said the money to combat that problem simply has to be found. They're talking $10, $11 million right now, and I think a lot of our public doesn't understand how in the world could you spend that kind of money. Well, it's a multi-billion dollar problem in the United States. These invasive mussels, they impact agriculture by causing problems with irrigation systems, municipal water supplies, certainly recreation, fishing opportunity can be impacted. As I've said, no matter what happens with the legislature, Montanans will see the impacts of invasive mussels this summer. Regardless, this summer they're going to see some things different in Montana. Canyon Ferry and Tiber, a lot stricter requirements as far as having your boat inspected, potentially decontaminated if you're going to use it elsewhere. There'll be more inspection stations around the state. This is just potentially a huge problem for Montana and our neighboring states. Finally, a 54-year-old man arrested in Butte on suspicion of driving under the influence told authorities he had 22 prior convictions for the same crime. The Montana Standard reports Clinton Sproles was arrested late Saturday. Our news talk time now is 612. News Talk, KGVO. Missoula's official weather station. Mostly cloudy to cloudy skies today with scattered snow showers. Daytime highs will be right around the 40 degree mark. It will be quite windy with wind gusts nearing 40 miles per hour. I'm meteorologist Brooke Foster for Missoula's KECA 13.